This is part two of colorectal liver metastasis. Um, we left off in the first video uh, describing um, liver resection for isolated uh, liver metastasis. In this uh, segment, I'd like to start off by talking about two-staged liver resection. Um, this is a hypothetical situation where patients may need an extended hepatic resection, but the future liver remnant, FLR, is less than 20%, for example, or they have an additional tumor here. Portal vein embolization can be performed preoperatively by interventional radiologists um, where flow is interrupted to the right side, and this allows for growth of this portion of the liver. The liver is a remarkable uh, organ in, in its ability to regenerate, and there may be trophic factors or just in the portal blood flow or just por the portal system in and of itself increasing its pressure in, the, in that system that causes um, an increase in what's called the future uh, liver remnant. Um, this allows the procedure to be done in one or two stages. Uh, if it were done in one stage, this, this part would be, this, re this resection would be performed in conjunction with the trisegmental tri resection. So what I'm basically demonstrating is that um, because of the liver's remarkable ability to regenerate, um, aggressive resections are now judged by what, you know, if, if, a, if a healthy piece of liver can be left behind that is free of disease, or what we call an R0 operation. So, uh, portal vein embolization is one adjunct. And that's called uh, portal vein um, uh, ligation or, em or embolization depending on how it's done. So once again, the, the liver has a remarkable mechanism in its ability to regenerate. Um, and what I tell my patients is that it's not like cutting your right arm off and your right arm grows back. It's more like cutting your right arm off and your left arm gets double in size like a Popeye arm. Um, so the number of cells at the end of the process may be the same or close to the same as in the beginning. So in other words, if, if this portion of the liver is actually removed, this part may double in size. So that's, that's liver regeneration. In a healthy liver, um, surgeons can remove up to 75% of one's liver. Um, there are factors that um, impair regeneration. Patients who have evidence of liver disease with either fibrosis or cirrhosis have difficulty with re liver regeneration. Patients who have fatty livers or what we call ste steatosis of the liver, either from dietary contributions or from chemotherapeutic drugs, some of which are used to treat colon cancer, for example. Um, so that is why we, we are more aggressive now with the use of uh, adjunct techniques such as portal vein embolization um, to help allow for liver regeneration uh, before surgery. Other adjuncts that, that we used to treat colorectal metastasis are the, is the use of radiofrequency ablation, which is using um, uh, energy to to essentially burn around this tumor in a spherical manner and kill the cells. Um, the results of radiofrequency ablation do not compare um, as well with complete surgical resection. Um, but in patients who may not tolerate liver resection for 
a variety of medical reasons or because their liver may not be able to tolerate it secondary to cirrhosis or fibrosis or steatosis like we mentioned radiofrequency ablation can be a useful adjunct other non-surgical adjuncts um, may be the use of um, radio labeled spheres um, to kill tumors with radiation injury and less frequently for colon cancer um, is the use of chemoembolization or actually delivering chemotherapy into these uh, tumors. In summary, uh, patients with colorectal liver metastasis um, are treated aggressively. Uh, they are treated aggressively because the results of surgical extirpation are actually very good um, with survival as high as 58% five-year survival with our current chemotherapeutic uh, agents. I thank you for listening.